Okay, day two of tile. We almost got the floor in. We installed the shower pan, the shower floor, and uh, did a bunch of drywall work. So let's show you what we've accomplished so far and, and what we plan to do today on this flat and level bathroom floor. So we will fill in this by the end of the day. But first things first, we will start our first row of tile and back wall of tile. So we will install tile on this back wall. We will cut and fabricate our bench top, white quartz, and our curb top. And this niche will be all marble. No quartz for the sill. It'll be a marble sill and a marble shelf. Okay, let's get to work. The bench is all waterproof, prepped, ready to go. Your next step is to install your bench top. The quartz should be installed first so that you can stack your tile on top of it. Really easy way to do that is to simply make a template out of a piece of cardboard like this. There's our template. Let's cut this. You want to add the additional thickness of your field wall tile. And there's your template. So now we take our template, place this on top of the quartz, trace it, and make your cut. So let's do that now. Okay, let me quickly explain our layout and the decisions we made when we framed for the niche and our drain location. We have an offset niche. This is going to be the line we're going to go off of. This is center of the back wall. The center of the back wall is the right side of the niche and the left side of the bench. We will have folds and halves going off of the center line, folds and halves on both sides of the niche and folds and halves on the left and right side of the shower. Now we chose to install, frame and install an offset niche because of the large bench. We did not want to center our drain. We wanted to have an offset drain, an offset niche. So the drain is there. The drain is centered with the niche, but the back wall still will be symmetrical. It's hard to uh, visualize, but uh, you will see once we start installing our marble tile. So let's get to work. Okay, we are making progress slowly but surely. Keep in mind when you bid for marble shower installation or if you're a client wanting a marble shower installation, the price is going to be higher. It takes a lot more time because all of these tiles are slightly different. They are not square, some of them are bowed, and it takes a lot of time to make sure that everything is flat and level without lippage. And you also have to pay attention to where you place each tile because of the different movement. You want it as random as possible so that it looks like a natural stone wall. Let's talk about the bench. Our client did not like this quartz. Too white for their taste. We thought it went well with this pan tile here. Rather than us ripping it out, they opted for us to simply tile over it. So we ran a bead of silicone on the perimeter of the bench. We're going to install the tile on the top on the apron here and then run our color matte silicone around the bench, as well as where the two planes meet. Side wall, back wall. So it will be a full marble bench, proper pitch and slope. Moving right along, we will finish this back wall, finish these two side walls today. Tomorrow, I'll come back, finalize this niche and the curb. So let's get to it. Lots of work to do. We have the little Montelite, which is gonna help us speed up time. Score and snap. So that we can get this tile installed fast. Let's get to it. And we are using one 32nd of an inch for our spacers.
We're going to now use our clamps, reverse them to hold this tile suspended up so that it can cure and set up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving right along. A lot of marble going up on these walls, a lot of tiles. Back wall is complete other than the niche. The niche will be completed today. We are working on the right wall, starting the left wall, and we will be, like I said, tiling over our quartz and then running our bead of color matching silicone around there. We also have silicone behind there as well around that white quartz, but uh, client didn't like the white. They want a marble top. We think it might look better as well, having everything in the shower be marble. The top of the bench, top of the curb, and a full marble niche without trim edging. We will polish the edges. So let's keep pushing and slapping these tiles up on the wall. <laughs> 